Hey guys, Logan back again here at Coastal Fitness. Today we're going to talk about the T-Bar Row. Uh, first we're going to go into how we typically use this and then we have a couple of ways that we can use this uh, for different muscle groups. So let's get into it real quick. First you'll see, the reason we call it the T-Bar is you've got this running perpendicular, perpendicular uh, to where you're going to weight the bar. You have a wide grip and a narrow grip. Uh, biggest mistake we tend to see on this machine here is as people come down, they're going to round their back and they're going to try to row from this position. Uh, this is not good for your back at all. We always want to lock our back into neutral spine um, and take that stress off of, the, off of the spine itself. So we're going to come up, lock that back into position, and then you're going to pull up to the bottom of your chest. The other thing you don't want to do is arch your back really high and put your, bar, your back into flexion. This is just as bad as rounding your back. Second thing we're going to talk about is called a landmine shoulder press. Put whatever your desired weight is on here, you're going to come up. The leg that's up is going to be the arm that's pressing. Hopefully that makes sense. And then we're just going to simply come here and drive forward. Switch arms, same thing, driving up and forward. Last thing we have here, if this is the only piece of equipment you have available to you and you want to hit some legs, come in and we'll do a landmine squat. Hold that weight up in front of you, close to your chest. Sit back in your squat position. Always driving your knees out, fighting to keep your chest nice and tall. This machine will actually help you keep your back in a good tall position. That's all I've got for you for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it.